Where do we start with systemizing our business? That is a question I always get. Or where, how do I work on my business and not in my business? How do I start this process? So the first things you need to have in place, of course, is you need the, the finances. You may, must make sure that your um, financial model is correct and it is in place. In other words, you have the cash flow in order to start systemizing your business. But where do we start? We start with you as the entrepreneur. Okay, you need to release your time or relieve you from time consuming tasks first before you can work on your business. Part of working on your business is, of course, you know, to orchestrate the different things to, to get that done. How do you become the orchestrator of your business? To become the orchestrator of your business, you need to delegate all the things that you are doing that is working in the business. You start off by making a list. It's very simple. There's no theories around this that is complicated and all that. It's very simple. You make a list, like almost like a to-do list. And you start with the most time-consuming thing that you really do not enjoy doing, that drains your energy. And you need to delegate that to your staff, right? Yes, staff. Get some staff if you don't have. How do you get staff if you don't have staff, but you don't cannot occupy a staff member full time? Well, simple. You outsource. You get virtual assistants or a virtual assistant and pay them by the hour. So that, that's the first thing you will start off with. It's obviously more expensive and you don't have control over the time of the person, but you want to get the job done. So you start, start with that. Start reducing the time you spend in your business by getting some of the tedious tasks. Give that away to people so that they can do it. In that process of giving the work to someone, you will end up realizing that, hmm, I haven't standardized as much as I should have. And if you haven't standardized as much as you should have, then that's the opportunity to start standardizing. Then rethink certain aspects and make those changes in your business. For example, if you haven't, standard, haven't got standardized pricing, how will someone <laughs> create invoices for your customers? It's going to be difficult. So now start setting up standard pricing and calculate your costing properly and communicate that pricing to your customers and give them, say for example, a month or whatever period to adjust to your new pricing. Okay, so that is important. So as you hand over the tasks, document it because that person, you might want to give it to someone else in future and you, want, you, you will need to probably retrain that person. So a suggestion there is that you can create some short videos to teach people what you are doing so that they can do it the same as you're doing. Instead of directly or standing behind them and looking over their shoulder, why not create a video? If you don't know how to create a video, why not have a Zoom session? Record a Zoom session where that person asks you questions and how to do the, th the things. Okay, That is a very simple way of doing it. And keep it simple and make it fast. So then you ask that same person to document what you ask them to do and create the steps, for example, and document that procedure. Or you can document it, um, but they can send it to you and you can check it and say, oh, you missed a step there or you missed a step there. But that is critical and that is how you duplicate yourself. So the first step is to duplicate yourself by handing over some of the tasks to some people. So I get the question at this point in time and say, but I can't find someone like me. The answer is you won't. <laughs> it's simple, right? Because if you find someone like you, they are more, more likely your competitor and your competitor is not going to work for you. So I suggest here yeah, to think slightly differently around who you're going to find. So you're going to find someone who specializes in something and can do it better than you. Not the same. You want someone better than you with that task, right? That's who you want. You are someone that can do a lot, a range of things, a lot of different things. 
That's what makes you an entrepreneur and be able to set up and create a business. You will not find someone like you because guess what? They've got their own business. Don't find someone like you. Find someone who can do one specific task the whole day, right? And then you find someone else for the other task you're doing. And you outsource this and buy their hours for doing that. That's what you do. That's how you start out with this. Once you've got enough volume of work, get them in-house. Okay? Especially if it's a critical skill that you need in your business and you need them in your business, uh, you know, for the full working hours. Then it might be better for you to get someone to work on it full time. So that's the first place I would start. And I normally start with admin work, getting that away from you. Admin work and anything to do with admin. Get an admin person. Not an entrepreneur, but an admin person. Okay, so that's where you start to systemize your business.